just like just locked Everywhere. up to like fucking yeah. like a uh, stop sign. I yeah. was like, how do you, people why? have their own lights on them and stickers on them and yeah, stuff? I'm just like, like, you are you just how did you rent this for a year? How does this work? <laughs> how does this your yeah. bike? <laughs> you own oh this now. Oh my god. What up, what up, what up? Welcome to Kid Venture's Cocktail Hour. My name is Colin Ferguson, a.k.a. Kid Venture, a.k.a. I don't even know at this point. I might have lost my mind a little bit. Um, welcome to the night where I make my friends cocktails and we play games. Uh, we're in quarantine, though, and so I got to hang out with my roommates. But luckily, my roommates still want to hang out with me. Yeah! Yay! Party time. Um, so, uh, Dylan Jones, how you doing, man? I'm wonderful. I'm wonderful. This is great. It's been a great. It's been a great day. It's been a good week. It's been a very productive week, and uh, yeah, capping it off with um, with some video games and hanging out with my dude. This is great. Well, Drinking very very weather appropriate cocktails. Oh, for those 100%. of you wondering, it was beautiful in Brooklyn today. It was finally like that first kind of summery day. Where you just sweat just sitting in yeah, the sun. And you don't even care. You just it's you're just it's happy that you it's it. happening. And now we have these beautiful, very thirst quenching, uh also beautifully, you know, colored Thanks. Palomas. Spicy palomas. A little kick to them. A little I kick love to it. them. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. One of my favorite uh cocktails. I'm 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 kind of a an old school guy. I I can be caught multiple days a week on the subway playing Minesweeper on my phone. <laughs> okay. Um, and I don't fuck around. I do the fucking ten by ten grid. It's a big deal. Ooh, right? okay. I know what I'm All doing. Right. Um, but other than that, no, I don't really. I I get nostalgic about video games every now and then. The new they're re-releasing Tony Hawk One and Two, oh, which fuck yeah, they are. has fuck me yeah, they are. extremely excited because I those games changed my life. Tony Hawk One and Dave Mira's Freestyle BMX changed my life. They offered me playlists, and the music that was to those games <laughs> opened me up to punk rock and oh, yeah. everything that I ended up loving throughout my life. So they changed. I cannot wait to play those games and. They remastered them, so I bet Tony Hawk's butt looks a little bit better. I can't wait. It looks, yeah, it looks fucking. Have awesome. you seen the gameplay? Yeah. I, I haven't. Yeah. I they've won't. done a they've done a side by side of the two of the and original and the new it's remastered one. Phenomenal, and I'm just I'm glad that you mentioned the playlist because I really hope they don't change. It the soundtrack. better be the exact same. It playlist. has to be the exact same. If it's soundtrack. not, I'm gonna be really. That'll blow the whole. It'll thing It'll be for a me. different game. Yeah, like, it doesn't make any sense. Ah. Uh, I don't want to do fucking nollies to Rihanna. <laughs> I want to fuck. Come on. You're going to find um, out that it's just it's Rihanna. Only it's Rihanna. only Rihanna. Rihanna did the soundtrack for the track the, after track after track. They remastered Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, and Rihanna did the entire <laughs> score for the for all of it. It's just like, That'd you're be, just fucking kick flipping. Bitch, better have my money. I'd get down. I could totally hard flip to some Rihanna. Hey, if you're listening, hey, what's up? Rihanna. I'm a nice person. Congratulations on the Tony Hawk <laughs> Pro Skater uh, 1 and 2 remake. Uh, oh. You really, you're at a, you're at the peak of your career. Really and crushing I'm, it. I'm proud of you. Um, all right, well, tonight, like he has stated, we have a spicy Palomas with fresh grapefruit, fresh lime. Uh, wonderful. A jalapeno simple syrup that I made. Um, we also have some liquid death. That is beautiful, by the way. Don't let him pish posh this. It is perfectly balanced. Thanks. It's not too spicy, not too sweet. It fits in beautifully with the drink. Well, thank you, Dylan. Yeah. I thoroughly appreciate Ow. that. Yeah. We're also drinking some Liquid Death sparkling water. Because you have nice. to stay hydrated. You have to stay hydrated. You really do. That's a rule. Especially on days like today, like we were talking. I it know. was hot. I um, definitely and hydrated. And I'm going to be very honest. This is not like a plug on my end or anything. Um... But when I came down here, we've had a kind of busy day. Um, it's been hot. We've been sitting outside. I've been playing a lot of music. I woke up earlier today than I usually do. And uh, I started drinking a little earlier than I usually do. As you do. do. That's fine. And I was feeling a little sluggish. And this, the sparkling? It's good. Bah! Yeah. I'm wide awake. I'm ready to rock and roll. Woo! Dylan, I see that you've brought something with you. I have. Which is a new thing that I'm excited that yeah. it has brought something. Uh, do you want to talk a little bit about I it? I do want to talk a little bit about it. 
you are a fellow uh, service industry worker. I am. You are a I fellow uh, man of adult libations. <laughs> Um, yes, yes, I am. Basically, for any of you guys watching, I mean that we both serve copious amounts of alcohol to really drunk people. Um, and it's yeah. a wonderful way to make a living. And it's something that um, in a city like this, you become very proud of. Um, and anybody who has ever been behind a bar for any extended period of time is <clears throat> a very, very good friend. Of Frenette Branca. So I'm going to, uh, you know, as a as a man of the night, that as is, a man of the bar. I'm also a man of the night. A professor of the stick, <laughs> you know, as they call it. <laughs> I like you that. Know? Um, we're going to, we're going to, I brought a little bartender uh, treat for the two of us. So we're going to, we're going to cheers to that. Unfortunately, neither of us have been able to, to do any of that. No. Nope. For a little while here. All right, well, All right. cheers. Let's cheers fucking to that. game, yeah. dude. All right, let's rip it. I got you, young Padawan. Do you do you want to tell him what we're playing? Oh, you know, that's you usually an important to tell part. Um, what I'm playing? You know what? Let's have you tell him what we're playing today. All right. Um, I am not much of a gamer, um, but not that long ago... <laughs> A very, a very near and dear video game to me uh, was remastered and came back on the market. And then even more exciting, uh, very recently, it got added to the Nintendo Switch. Crash Bandicoot. I'm and we'll off. see what happens. I still don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll pass it back level by level. I might let's let you do your thing. Maybe, you know, what? whatever. We'll see what happens. We're going to play it by ear. You know? I'm gonna give the stick to you. Poor guy doesn't know what, what a, what a girl, Bandicoot even looks like at this point. What a girl wants, what a girl needs. Oh, is this the first one where you get to? There's all these secret levels, all this shit. It's crazy. They really did a good. They really did do a good job with this game. Yeah, what is it? Can't remember. Wow. You jump into the yeah, forest? No, there's, no. Nah, I can't uh, remember where you jump. I won't get too, I won't get too weird about the, the hidden levels. Bandicoots can't swim. That's a fact, right? That, uh, potentially. Actually, that does sound like something. Cause like I said, they're marsupials. like. A kangaroo can't swim. I guarantee a kangaroo can swim. You think a kangaroo can swim? 100%. Like, good? Uh, I don't think... It, like, you think it could survive if it yeah. fell into water? Yeah. Yeah. I don't but think it's it not tries like, to. But it's not gonna, like, Michael Phelps on her ass or no. anything like that. No, not at all. No. Like, a rat can swim. But it could get out of... It could get uh, out of a jam. It could get out of an aquatic situation. 100%. If it found itself in one, yeah, yeah. I would actually like to think of an animal that absolutely couldn't swim, and I don't know if I can because um, I feel like that's just like natural. I can't. Thing. Have you ever uh, have you ever met a French bulldog? <laughs> yes, yes. I My have. aunt and uncles had two French bulldogs when I was growing up, and they had a pool, and it was like. They were the cool aunt and uncle, like they were like very chill, they didn't have kids, so like whenever we would yeah. come around, like it was like, oh, the kids are around and stuff. The like one rule of the house was to not ever let the dogs get through the pool gate. And I guess I, I mean, I understood why, because it's like, oh, well, yeah, they're, they're dogs that can't swim, like that's fine. But... I never fully understood why until one time when my sister did leave the pool gate open. And both of these little Frenchies came bolting back to the pool and just didn't think about their own lives at all and just leapt into the pool and then had no idea how to get 
themselves out. It was a lot like that. It was just a lot like, like what I just did. Um, I mean, but yeah, it was kind of it was it was really interesting because it was like, oh shit, they like legit, like that no funny. joke, they cannot swim at all. They're they're buoys. Yeah, their body doesn't make sense to swim. I would have never yeah, tiny little legs in there. I mean, they're kind of an abomination. They're adorable, but like they're they an are they're in a they're a complete abomination actually. They're. Uh, do you know that French bulldogs can't uh, naturally reproduce? No. What? No. They can't because of their stature. Ooh, boss level. Papu papu. Papu papu. Papu papu. Actually, he's a pretty he's a pretty easy one. Oh. I mean, they sexualized him. You can see that butt. Look at it. That crack. Look at it. That butt cleave. It's a beautiful butt. Everyone likes butt cleave, right? Yeah. Oh! Party time, son of a bitch. Oh. Come on, Dylan, you're better than this. I am better than this. <laughs> you're not, though. <laughs> oh. Papu Papu. You son of a oh, bitch. This guy's actually not that bad. He's okay. Oh, look at Dylan Jones. I thought, I, from what I could remember. Oh, I've just been sitting outside in the sun, also drinking all day, and I'm drinking tequila, and that has not gotten the best of me. Not at all. No. Whoa, party hey. time. Whoa. Oh, okay. We're good. Everything's good here. Everything's not good here. You just touch them and you die. I don't know how that works. If I just touch people that I don't like, do I die? Didn't work. I'm just kidding. I like you. You gotta actually jump on the, jump on the guy. <laughs> just jump off the. Would you call that a peach or would you call that a papple? What would you cross hybrid between an apple and a peach be? I'd call it a people. A people. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I think that's what I'd call it. Oh, you got one of them peoples? Yeah, let me get one of those peoples. It'd probably be a wonderful fruit. I think. I think it would be. I don't know. Maybe we should start making people. Be garbage. How do you even make people? I don't know. How do you even do anything? Yeah. Don't think about it. I'm on, a I'm on a hog right now. A hog is hog wild! Ladies and gentlemen, oh, and he is dead, You got, dead, you dead, got dead. me too excited. Yeah, I, I will not get you that excited. Hey, everyone, he's on a hog right now. No, is, we're going hog wild! We're going hog wild! Hog wild. Hog wild. That was nice. Actually, this one's... <laughs> In order to get all the boxes, you gotta really kind of get, you gotta, you gotta slip and slide, baby. Baby, oh, oh you, you son didn't of slip a and bitch. slide that hard right there. You son of a bitch. Oh, I thought I got you. Oh. Oh, and then you jump on the drums. It's. it's Who are these natives that are oh. just hanging out? Well, see. Crash Bandicoot's actually like a terrible modern day Christopher Columbus. He's he's just trying to take over all these things, which he shouldn't be. He shouldn't be. Yeah. And so they're they're doing You gotta get that box. You gotta spin them around. You gotta get the box. I gotta get the you gotta box. Get the box. What's in the box? What's, What's in, in the <laughs> box? <laughs> What's in the box? <laughs> No more jokes, no more jokes. This is all serious time now. Oh, you oh, son of a bitch. Oh, right this, this game does get increasingly difficult. 
the more alcohol you've consumed. I mean, just watching it with more alcohol is difficult. I'm trying. I've never. I. I. I actually kind of think that maybe like Crash Bandicoot, a little sauced. Oh! She thought she could get me. She thought she could get you, but you didn't. She could. Oh, you missed one box. I did. I missed one box. Ba -ba -ba -ba! <laughs> <laughs> did you ever experience a majestic place known Ooh. as uh, DZ Discovery Zone? Um, I don't think so. Are you familiar I, it, with DZ Discovery Zone? It sounds familiar, but I don't Okay, know. so DZ Discovery Zone was this indoor, um, this indoor, <laughs> this indoor fucking jungle gym for kids. And you'd pay, your parents would pay for you to get into this thing. And it was just... It was like somebody sat down and thought to themselves, what is every single way that a child can get hurt without their shoes on? And they built it. They built this, it, they built it into one big building and it was the most magical place in the world. I remember specifically, there was one part of DZ Discovery Zone where it was just this big, it was this big, like, tower. It was probably four stories. Like, this place was huge. Yeah. Like, all of the DZ what? Discovery Zones were massive. That sounds awesome. Oh, God, it was the most phenomenal place I've ever been to in my entire life. But there was one part of it where it was just these, like, rubber ropes yeah. that all, like, turnbuckles, almost. Okay, Like, from yeah. a wrestling ring. But they all went in, like, different directions yeah, and crawl through it no the idea <laughs> oh Colin God. the idea was oh yeah we know exactly what kids are gonna do kids are going to start from the bottom and they're gonna crawl up through this entire thing and then they're gonna get up to the top and there's a couple different places they can go you remember what was that um, show on Nickelodeon uh, guts no um, the, where they had the, the, the legends of oh, the... Oh, the legends of the Hidden Temple. Legends of the Hidden Temple, yeah. It was, it was pretty much that, but in real life. And so anyway, they thought that this part of their, their child craziness was gonna mean that kids were just gonna crawl up these rubber ropes. No. You know what we all did? We all got our way to the fucking top and fucking launched ourselves into it and just fucking <laughs> flailed our way down four stories through these rubber fucking ropes and we were fucking eight and it was great. I loved it and every single person that I ever went there with loved it. We had a great time. Before, You'll be blown the fuck away. Like this whole quarantine thing was happening. Uh, Legends of the Hidden Temple was yeah. speaking about bringing it back mm -hmm. for adults. I remember that. Can I just like call this right now that if that happens, we are going to apply I'm together. gonna slaughter that. Yeah, that's me? the point. We're gonna fuck shit up. I'm fucking shoulder pad, ready oh, to go. I'm ready to wreck it. Getting through the, what the fuck? Oh my God, I need to, oh, that, th this is hurting my soul because I'm not actually doing that right now. But Crash Bandicoot always kind of made me feel like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway. I'm telling you, do yourself a favor and look up DZ Discovery I Zone. I definitely will. It was in, I didn't think about DZ Discovery Zone for the longest time, and then like a year ago, I was watching this documentary that was all about like crazy kids shit that should have never happened. And there was like a park in some state that was like ridiculous. You, you've seen all this shit, I know yeah, you yeah, have. Yeah. Um, but anyway, all these crazy parks were in it and shit, and I was like, oh shit, like, these places looked fun as shit, and my parents totally would have taken me there, and, like, the camps that I went to as a kid would have totally taken us there, but, unbeknownst to me, 
they brought up DZ Discovery Zone. Like, they were oh. like, oh, yeah, this place also used to exist. These places were all over the fucking Midwest in the fucking 90s called DZ Discovery Zone where little fucking children were just sent out on their own to fucking just go wild in the craziest fucking pits of despair. And, God, I love DZ Discovery Zone. It was such a fun time. I would have loved it. That sounds like the best. Oh, thing. God, you would have loved it. Seriously, every kid loved it. The only kids that didn't love it were the couple that died. <laughs> but they probably loved it while it was happening. <laughs> you know, what I was going to interrupt you and say is, those kids suck. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Yeah, they definitely enjoyed I'm it up until their death. sure they loved every minute of it until they snapped their neck in a 10-foot ball pit. <laughs> oh my god, that's... <laughs> Fuck! I did love that place, though. What a, what a, it was a, it was, that was the golden era. Come on. I know, I know, I can do better. That was fun. All right. I'm glad I played a level. Um, that was fun. For the record, Dylan Jones has beat that level, just so everyone knows. I just... I've beat that level so many times. I just... I, I need that out there, because I don't think he can I handle, need it out there. Yeah, I know. That's... I'm, I just wanted to take that off of you, so yeah, you didn't I, I don't like, want come my, off. I don't want... Do it. I don't want people to think that I can't get past the first island in Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> I don't want to be that. I'm not that type of man. You're like not I just that don't want to. I don't want people to think I'm that type of person that can't uh, beat the first island in Crash Bandicoot. Yeah. But I can, and I have, and I yeah. will again. Well, Dylan, the uh, that was... the the Paloma. I got palomed. <laughs> you got palomed. I got palomed. Good old palomed. That Cheers. happens to the best of us. All right. We'll Forget oh. about it. Oh, that yeah, one got to me. Forget about it. We're 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 on. We're on to the next. Well, Dylan, thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you. Thank for you for having me. Like, of course, this yeah. is this has been great. This has been fun. I'm excited to get further into this game. It's a really good game, and this is all three of the first original, which is awesome. And it's so, so cool. That's on you Switch. Got, it's on Switch. It's on all yeah. every. I think they. Yeah, they came out with it on every console. Yeah, they did. They Which definitely I don't even did. know what all the consoles are. We'll How get you, into it. Okay. Like we'll get all into right. it. There's a there's a lot of them. So I know there's too many yeah. too many to count. Um, However, it's on it's on Switch, and I've been playing it a lot throughout this uh, whole quarantine thing we've been going through. Yep, video games are helping a lot of people right now. It's really yeah. It, it's the only thing some people have. That's 100 percent true. Uh, Dylan, before I sign off, do you want yeah. to plug your Instagram or anything? I wouldn't mind if you if if you'll have if you'll allow it. Um, my Instagram is very very simple, very original. It's Dylan Jones Music. D Y L A N Jones Music. Um, I'm a musician. I'm a songwriter. Um, I'm a drummer. He's a friend. I'm, I'm a good friend. I'm a good. Uh, yeah, I don't know that I'm the most thrilling Instagram account to follow or not, but I do have some stuff coming up. I'm, uh, I am releasing my second single onto Spotify, um, on June 20th. It is a song called Bartender, um, that I wrote eight years ago. And I'm actually going to try and figure out a way to, uh, link up with some people and hopefully get some funds moving around so that some of the proceeds of that song go towards um the bars in new york city that i love so that is very cool yeah, yeah. awesome so stay stay posted on that and uh, and keep an eye out it'll be it'll be coming around june 20th fuck yeah man. yeah that's so cool yeah. that's like so nice of you yeah. and such a positive yeah. thing to bring well, to and, the world and you'll be one of them i am a bartender yeah <laughs> we're our, we're all out of work. We're just I know it's weird. We're just unemployed weirdos. Right it's now. it's nice for me to make a drink for another bartender. Yeah. Like that's been a very very it's, deep it's, pleasure it's, tonight. It, it's wonderful. Um well guys, uh thank you so much for hanging out. Uh if you want more, if you liked what you saw, you can follow us on Instagram at Blake Ford Chronicles or Spotify 
Um, yeah, we're now on Spotify. It's kind of an exciting thing. Yay! Hey, Spotify! Spotify! Bow, 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 bow. We're also on Twitter at blanket for bros uh, Please give us a follow. Give us a shout. If you like what you saw, comment on us. It's been a great time. Thanks for hanging out, guys. And uh, thanks, Dylan, once again. Thank you. Awesome. Peace. Cheers.